This video is just a quick preview of one of over 200 step-by-step -step percussion lessons included in our Conga Chops membership. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe and head over to congachops.com to start your free seven day trial and check out everything we've got on the site. In this lesson, we'll cover some of the basic tones and the movements we'll employ to achieve them. The first one we'll look at is the open tone on the embra. Here we're looking to produce a round resonant tone towards the edge of the drum using the surface area of our fingers. Depending on the size of your hand, you may want to bring your hand a bit closer into the center or further away. In my right hand, this part of my hand will be making slight contact with my leg, which helps serve as a reference point for where I'm placing my hand when I strike. The goal here is to make sure that the open tone produces just a bit of a harmonic frequency so that the drum doesn't sound muffled. Something else to keep in mind is that it's also very common to play the embra open tone in our left hand by using predominantly our index finger to strike the drum. This is mainly because when playing rhythms on the macho, we'll employ a finger style technique on the edge of the drum, while our right hand will continue to play the open tones with the full surface area of all four fingers. Now let's work on how to play open tones on the macho. There are some players that execute the sound with any number of fingers, generally one, two, or three. But let's focus on getting a nice resonant tone in each hand using only our index fingers. We'll have to separate our index fingers just a bit from the rest of our fingers and create a small amount of tension to strike the drum adequately. One of the most important tones that we'll work on is an accented open tone. 